Bye, Mom. Bye, honey. Don't be too late. I won't. And say hi to Anthony. It's not Anthony. I'm going out with Torch. Torch? Torch. Oh, no! Said the little old lady. Bump, 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 said the thing. Who are you? Said the little old lady. Come and catch me, said the thing. So slowly, very slowly, the little old lady opened the door, and standing there was a horrible giant boogeyman with a big fat head and weird scary hair and... <laughs> Daddy, that's not how it goes. I think that's enough terror for one evening. Aw, uh -huh. Mom. Night, honey. Night, Mommy. Night, Daddy. Night, Pumpkin. I'll see you in the morning. If we survive. <laughs> no. Mom, leave the door open. I really wish you wouldn't do that. Why? Scare April like that. She likes it. When the lights are on, but after the lights go out... Oh, don't worry so much. Maybe. I wish Liz would get home. Oh, now, Ellie, come on. It's not even 11 and her curfew is midnight. I guess you're right. Besides, you couldn't ask for a more careful escort than Anthony. Oh, she's not out with Anthony. Who's she with? A uh, torch. You know, the one with the motorcycle. Motorcycle? It's not the boogeyman, April. It's only Edgar. No, no, the boogeyman is here. He's here. He's in my room. He is, eh? Well, we'll just have to go and find him. No! Don't worry, honey. We'll be safe. We've got Edgar for protection. I saw him, Dad, in my closet. And what did he look like? He had a big fat head and weird awful hair and he had long, long arms. Mmm, sounds scary. Very scary. And then, and then when I was looking at him, he moved. Really? Yes, so I ran. Good thinking. Just what I do. Wait, Daddy. You forgot our protection. Oh, right. Okay, let's have a good look in your closet. No, Daddy, please. April, there is no boogeyman. It's just a make-believe story. You probably woke up and saw some scary shadows. It moved. No, honey, that was your imagination. Now, I'm going to show you that... Mr. B? Hey, that's my old bathrobe. What's it doing here? Must have been caught on the door. So you see, April, 
That was no boogeyman. It was only a basketball in my old bathrobe. <laughs> and Mom's old clowny hair. <laughs> and Mom's old clowny hair. <laughs> and Mr. B. And Mr. B. And no boogeyman. And no boogie. Daddy, what's that? There has to be a logical explanation. He's trying to get in. You wait here, April. Liz! Elizabeth! April! Torch! Daddy thought you were a boogeyman! He is! <laughs> nice to meet you! Cool hair, man!